now my bulkhead discs are sanded and my next step is I need to glue these two rings inside the ends of the coupler um, to make them easier to kind of slide in take your fingernail and smush down that edge and do both sides okay this one will go on to this side and the purpose of these is to prevent these bulkheads from going too far in and so they're going to be glued one quarter inch inside the the edge and if you push your hand through you can when the bulkhead is flush with the edge of the tube you know they're at the right depth inside okay so what I do is I don't I don't put the glue in or uh, yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the glue in and then slide these in to the right depth because then I'm gonna push them in from this side and I don't want any glue to get onto the bulkhead because I don't want to glue it in okay so pull these rings out and if they get kind of stuck give them a twist on the inside and that kind of centers them up so you know I'm not putting it on the very edge I'm putting it in a little bit okay and I'm smearing it around oops I see you got too close to the edge there have some paper towel handy so I'm gonna slide this in And then I'm going to use one of the bulkhead discs to push it into the right depth. And then from this side, you know, if I push it flat on the table, I know it's, I know it's going to be um, centered up correctly all the way around the perimeter. I'm not sure if you can see inside there or not. Um, and then once the glue kind of sets a little bit, pop that out. I just want to make sure that I don't have any glue on this side edge. Now if you want, you can put a fill of glue on the back edge. So I put it in a little bit and I'll just smear it around that back edge. Like that. Okay. And I'll do the same on this side. Set it on the table and then push it down all the way around so it's nice and flat. Okay. All right, so I'm going to let that set up. Um, pop this out. Looks good. So while that's drying, I'm going to take my, my sled plate and then these two little alignment guides and they're going to be glued on the back side of the plate so that's opposite the Apogee logo. And I got a little bit of glue inside the hole. I'll just use my old thread to kind of kind of just push it out. Make sure it's nice and clear. And I'll just do the same to this side.
Okay. And we're going to take the one um, disc with the slot in it, and it's going to be glued on like this. So the tall part is opposite of the that one rail guide right there. So this is going to get glued into there. So I'm going to put some glue in the slot. And let's put some glue here on this side. This is the only one that gets glued on. And you want the Apogee logo facing outward. Like that. And then wipe off any excess glue. And then it's going to have a little fillet right here, and that's going to give it a little bit of strength. So you're probably wondering what these slots are for. Is once you get your electronics mounted on the sled, and if you have your mounting on both sides, and you need to route wire from one side to the other, you can bring it up through the slot. Um, or you could wrap it around the edge. There's a little bit of room for wire going around the edge, but uh, primarily you probably use there. Uh, makes it a little easier to slide in and out of the tube. So I'm going to make sure that this is perpendicular to the sled, and then I'm going to let this dry. And while it's still a little bit tacky, I'll run this all thread through just to make sure it goes through all the way. Now, as I said, you, you never really need to remove this all thread. So to make it harder to slide in and out, you can take your finger and kind of kind of offset these a little bit. You can kind of give them a twist, slide one to the one side, slide the other one to the other direction, give it a little twist. Um, and that's, you just want to make it so that it's, it's a little bit so it doesn't fall through so easily. It doesn't matter if it, it will fall through, but it's just kind of more convenient when you're taking the rocket apart to get to your electronics. So I'm going to let this dry and we'll be right back.